everyone, it's Cajun DIY Diva, and I have another uh, acrylic painting tutorial. And um, I kind of drew what was on the canvas, but I know you can't see it very well, so I'm going to kind of go through a drawing process with you, just so you can see kind of how it would draw. This is going to be a shrimp boat, uh, very common uh, around the, the Gulf of Mexico. Um, and uh, the lower coastal Louisiana areas. Um, of course, you might remember from the movie Forrest Gump, um, they were, there was a shrimp boat on that. So um, this is like your traditional shrimp boat, and um, this one's got some color in it. I, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, um, but I love the water in it, the shades of water. So I probably will put color in it because I just like what it does to the water. Um, and um, so I'm going to use some black paint to kind of do the drawing process with you so that you can see. So what I like to do is thin my black paint a little bit with, I just dip it in my water cup, dip my brush in my water cup, and then swirl around the black paint. I don't want it like really dripping, but I want it a little bit thinner. So um, we're going to kind of pick the center of my boat and just do a line down and um, the boat is not like perfectly in the center of this painting. The boat's kind of a little bit off to the side. So um, the bottom is almost got almost a flat line but it does kind of taper over to the sides of the boat. Um, and there's kind of a, like a um, red part. The hull is painted red on the bottom and it's got kind of a stripe up here at the top. And then I'm going to do, now I'm going to do the cabin part. And So this is like up where the captain of the boat would sit, the shrimp and boat captain. There's Forrest up there. He would sit up there to drive the boat. And I'm going to do like not a serious line all the way down, but just like a little one, just to kind of mark where the center is. And of course you need some windows for the captain to see out of the boat. So I, I uh, have this picture, but I'm not going to strictly adhere to this picture. I'm going to kind of make it my own. So, um, and then there's a little top part um, up here. This is where, like a lookout part or something, there's probably a little window up here too. So I'm just going to kind of draw that in. Now I want to do the horizon line would be probably the water line would be just a little bit above the bottom of the boat. And then there's also a dock in the background. So that will be a little bit below the top of the boat hull. So um, that's my drawing, and then we're going to add in some other um, lines and things, um, and, but we'll do that after this dries. So I'll be back, and we'll start painting after this uh, black outline dries. Okay, I'm back, and the paint has had a chance to dry. So what should we work on first? I think... What I want to work on first is probably I'm going to do the sky. And for the sky, I'm going to take some phthalo blue and white and just make a very light blue, sky blue. And just kind of fill in the sky. Um, probably want it a little bit lighter than that, so I'll just keep adding. some white as I go. Add a little blue.
then come back and smooth some white in there. So it gives it kind of, you know, an abstract sky. There's clouds in the distance. Mix up some more. So I mix it as I go because I don't want to mix up too much right at first. And that came out a little darker. No problem. I'll just mix some more white in it. And it actually, you know, kind of looks good to have the upper sky a little lighter than the lower sky. So I'll just fill this side in. Some more. I'm going to need more white. This painting is going to use a lot of white. I'm just warning you now. And the sky, when you paint the sky, you can do it in different ways. Um, you could do circles like this if you wanted to. Um, I kind of want a serene sky, I think. So the sky it has a few clouds, maybe. There's like these little streaks of white kind of represent clouds a little bit. Okay, and I can just add a little bit more into the sky wherever I feel like I need it, where I want it to be a little lighter. And I can always come back to this and add more as I go. Okay, now for the um, water, I'm, again I'm going to use Thalo Blue. And I'm going to put some white in, but not as much white this time. It's going to be a much darker color. Thalo Blue, when you paint it on, I mean, it's if you don't lighten it, it's very dark. See, this is so much darker than the sky, but it's I have lightened it a little bit. So Thalo Blue is very dark. And now I just stuck my brush back into the phthalo blue. And just to kind of show you, I don't mind if there's some darkness kind of at the bottom. And let me go back to my lighter, phthalo blue. And I kind of want all my brush strokes to be kind of back and forth. And now I'm going to do some straight phthalo blue. I just I didn't lighten it at all. And kind of do a little kind of a stripe sort of that's just blended in at the bottom. And now, without cleaning my brush, I'm going to put a little red on my brush. And I'm just going to do some little, a little bit of red touches in the water. And that's about it for the red touches. Okay, now I'll start painting the boat hull. So I'll do some red at the bottom. It's going to be a nice colorful boat. And I'm going to make a an olive-y color green, a kind of olive. Um, the way I make that color, I don't ever buy that color. What I do is I use chrome yellow. Let me put some more on my palette. I'm using the same palette from a different painting, so I already had paint on my palette. So I'm taking chrome yellow and I put a little dot of Mars black in it. Um, probably almost any yellow, a lighter yellow, will work with this. Um, the reason is Mars black has a very um, bluish base. So what happens when you mix blue with yellow? You 
uh, get green. Um, but it is, oh, I just smeared a little of the red into my green there. But you know what? I'm just going to make it work. It's a happy accident. Um, so, yeah, so it, it makes a, a green when you have a lot of blue in that black. Um, so it makes this nice kind of olive looking green, which I think is really nice. So now for the top stripe, I'm going to use, I'm not even going to clean my brush. I'm going to use some phthalo green, not phthalo blue, phthalo green. Mix some chrome yellow into it, and it makes kind of a very bright, kind of almost Kelly green color. Okay, so now I want to do some brown for the dock in the background. So I'm going to take some of my phthalo green and some red and some of that chrome yellow. Um, you could also use ultramarine blue with the crimson red and pretty much any yellow. Mix all three colors together and it will give you brown. And depending on um, how brown you want it, um, how dark, you know, you can add some white to it to make it uh, a lighter color, a lighter brown. And, you know, if it looks a little too purple, then, um, you know, you probably need some yellow. If it looks a little too green, then you probably need some red when you mix up your brown. So there I have a brown color and I'm just going to kind of paint in the dock. And then we're going to get all of this painted in. We'll come back and do some details. Okay. So now I'm going to use some white clean my brush really well because I don't want brown on it right now and kind of dry it off. I dry it real well. I always like to keep a paper towel close to me when I'm painting so that I can dab off my brush. So now I'm going to just put some straight white and put kind of a coat onto the sort of cabin of this shrimp boat. So I'm just kind of filling that in, and I think I'll come and grab a little blue, a little light blue, and maybe just kind of brush in some of the light blue here and there. It's kind of just, you know, the sky is reflecting onto the white of the boat, and you're, that's what you're seeing is that that blue reflection of the sky onto the white of the boat. Um, so now I'm going to go back to the boat hull and I want this um, green color to be maybe a little lighter so I'm going to mix some um, white into this olive green that I mixed up I put a little bit darker on there so it's smearing a little darker and I'm going to paint over this black line that's in the center because it's just a little too stark that black line and I don't want it to be that um, black. Now I'm going to take a little of the green I'm just going to brush a little bit 
do some kind of little sideways brush strokes of the green into this green. And I think I'll take a little yellow also and do some little yellow strokes. into this green. And the yellow blends very well because you know this color was made from yellow. Okay, now I'm going to clean my brush. I'm going to come back with some more red on the red hull. Because it just didn't seem quite deep enough. Sometimes these colors are very um, translucent when they paint on and you have to do more than one coat sometimes. I'm gonna, while I have the red on my brush, I'm going to do a little bit of red strokes into my dock area. Okay, now I'm going to clean my brush. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush. This is the brush I used to paint. It's not the finest tip, but it's a fine enough tip. Um, where I can do bigger, bigger strokes or I can do fine strokes with it. So what I'm going to do is take some of the dark phthalo blue and I'm going to fill in the windows with the dark phthalo blue. And I think at the top I want kind of a little Maybe a little cap on that top part, and maybe it's kind of at an angle. And I just want to maybe add some more white, and maybe a little bit of white in the boat. And I kind of, I'm going to add some white coming off of where that center line was and then just kind of feather that white into the green. And now I'll make the green get darker as it goes to the back by using some straight phthalo green And I think maybe it needs a white line up here at the top of the boat. Like I said, you know, I, you know, you, you're the artist. You can change your mind about what colors you want it to be. Um, So here's some, I put a little black, taking a little black, and just kind of smudging in down at the bottom, and just kind of very lightly, not really outlining, but just um, kind of smudging in a little darkness right there, and let it blend, just pull it from the side, just pull it with your brush over. And then the center, I put a little too much, so I'll just go back to the red and come back over it again, the red. You know, this is an old boat, it's not real new. So the bright red is, is um, a color that you know, it might not have. So now I'm going to go back up to the white at the top. And I put a little tiny bit of yellow mixed with white on my brush. And I just want to kind of dirty it up a little bit. don't want it so pure white. I mean, it's not the SS Minnow. So um, I need a little more white on my palette.
and so now I'm going to kind of outline this little this little guy up here but not like a super strict outline just kind of an abstract outline sort of and I'm going to kind of give it a little outline here um, black outlines kind of tend to add a very whimsical effect so right here I'm going to do a little piling um, a post kind of in the water and just kind of in the brown it's just a brown post where you know the boat would probably tie up now I think I'll work on the water a little bit so I'm going to add some white um, kind of down here because there's the white's way up there and um, I'm going to start with the white and the white should kind of be as wide as the white is on the boat so just a little bit of white there now I'm going to do some green in the water there's some little streaks of green and that's just the reflection of the boat in the water and I already put some red but I think I'll put a little more red now for the sky um, the sky looks pretty good but the boat does have these like long um, lines and they're like fishing lines or net lines or I'm not sure exactly what they are because I'm not a boater oh I do want to put um, I've got some brown on my brush I'm going to give a little highlights here and there with some brown and now I'm going to do the line so I think I'll do like here's one line coming off and it's kind of going this way and maybe I'll use black now and I'm going to thin out my black to try to make a finer line here's a line going straight out here's one coming down to the boat um, and maybe there's one more coming off right there so I'm just going to make this one kind of go off the page because the shrimp boats do have these lines that go out in all directions. And now, so I just want to do a few little finishing touches now. I'm going to give it a few little um, bits of black. Wherever I feel like that part of the painting needs to be emphasized. I'm going to give a little black on this post that's in the water. Oh, and I do want to um, do kind of a little wave right there in the water where this post hits. You know, it would make a little splash on that post. And I think I'll do some decking lines just kind of at a diagonal because this would be a wood deck. It would have some lines. So I did some little lines in black. Now I'll just add like a little white highlight to those decking lines. And I'm going to add a little white highlight to the top of the post, maybe a little bit down the post. And it just started to drip a little bit and just smooth that out. And maybe along the lines, I've got kind of a 
some of the light green on my brush. I'm just going to, since they're, I don't really want them to be so stark, the, those lines in black, so I'm just going to give it a little highlight with another color. And maybe just give the boat a little highlight with that color too. It's, uh, I put a little green on my paintbrush. And I think it's about done. So, um, this was Cajun DIY Diva. I see a little part that I don't like right here. I want it to be a little more defined than that. And a little more defined right there. But that's your shrimp boat. And uh, thank you for watching. Here I see another little part. I, I, I don't know if I'll ever be able to end this video, guys. You know, you're just going to have to keep watching forever. Um, I did want to blur kind of that black line where the boat, that center line of the boat. Okay, do I see anything else that I need to blur? Maybe this black horizon line right there with some brown. But there you have it. That's a shrimp boat. So thank you for watching. This is Cajun DIY Diva. Please check out my other painting videos and my other DIY videos and travel videos. Um, they're all on my channel. So please check them out. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching.